I think that uh, for me, painting is a total commitment. And that's what I do, and that's what I am. I'm, I'm a painter, I'm an artist. And uh, uh, that means going hungry sometimes, but it also means when uh, you have a major sale or something like that. Uh, incredible satisfaction. From his studio overlooking downtown Greenville, artist Guy Stevens fills canvas after canvas with incredible images of bright color and strong design. By his own definition, Stevens is a new age expressionist. But in 20 years of painting, Stevens has conducted a conscientious exploration through many artistic styles and movements, from fantasy realism to pointillism and various modes of expressionism. His has been an adventure in art. The Tree of Life series was sort of the first major series of painting uh, that was conceptualized in, in, uh, as a whole, as a unit. Um, in, my, in my career as an artist, I had been painting for maybe three years at that time. And at that point, I really had a clear idea that what I wanted to express in art was something that came from the soul, from the, the inner being, the true self. And I also wanted to have the highest form of beauty that I could understand or appreciate at that point. I consider myself uh, a spiritual being who is an artist, that, th that my art is my means of expression, uh, my means of <clears throat> communicating uh, to the highest degree uh, with my fellow man. If you go through the probably 10 or 12 major series of paintings that I've done since that time, um, you will find that that sense of beauty, of what is beautiful and how I understand that um, beauty, uh, has changed a great deal. It's still soul trying to, to express that or communicate it or give it to another person in some way but the understanding has grown a great deal. The keenest uh, instincts of appreciation of beauty now are <clears throat> in the actual experiencing of, of life. When I paint now, I try to give the viewer some uh, insight, some inkling uh, of what is what that experience uh, is like inside myself um, that's taking place um, I'm trying to let the viewer experience what I am experiencing through the language of painting as the spiritual awareness grew inside life became more intense, much richer. Uh, the feeling of just being much stronger. And so where I could look at a vase of flowers and, and maybe paint it in muted colors 20 years ago, now when I paint it, it's, it's just singing to me, this vibrant uh, uh, life energy that is flowing through it that I'm experiencing and that I sense from all the beings uh, around me. And so I'm, my color, the intensity of my color is matching the intensity of the experience. When I began to develop um, some of my more uh, recent styles of painting, the fish just seemed to be there. It was in my thoughts, in my inner consciousness. 
To me, the fish um, symbolizes maybe the return to the ocean, um, the primal uh, source of our origin. The influence of third world cultures and um, I would have to put it in that same group, uh, Native American cultures, has been very powerful. The influence of Native American cultures and third world cultures has been very strong, very powerful in my work. Um, primitive man seems to have a more direct link with this primal life energy that I'm interested in understanding and knowing about. Uh, primitive man seems to uh, recognize this universal life force <clears throat> in all forms of life and be able to convey some understanding of it in his art or her art. Just looking around the studio and, and maybe there are 80 paintings here, um, there are eight or 10 major uh, series of works uh, represented here. Uh, some of them are very different in content and uh, just approach technique so much so that you would really think that there were different people doing them. I just think of it as different aspects of myself. I know that maybe the viewing public likes to think, well, you know, this is a guy Stevens and they can point a finger at one painting and that's never going to happen uh, with me. I, I think as long as you're growing rapidly, and I, I seem to be, um, your styles, your, your form of expression uh, has to change, it has to unfold with you. Always seeking a challenge, Stevens is currently at work on what he calls the Greenville County Art Project, a major three-panel work which he hopes to install at the Greenville City Square. It's an expressionist landscape. I sort of took all the feelings that I had about growing up in Greenville County uh, the richness of the landscape, the rolling hills, the forest, um, those early experiences fishing up in the, the rivers around uh, uh, Caesar's Head and, and uh, that area. And uh, just sort of molded it all into one giant uh, landscape that would have uh, all that I could, could think of to put into it. What I wanted to do was to sort of draw public attention, public awareness to the fact that we need more uh, large painting projects in Greenville. They just aren't happening right now. And I thought possibly that, that by doing a public art project like this, that that would uh, get people started thinking about it and maybe inspire other artists to uh, head in their own direction with similar types of projects. Half completed at this stage, Stevens sees the project as a catalyst for future public works, a catalyst he has reluctantly put on hold while he seeks the necessary funding to complete it. In the interim, however, he continues his exploration of form and style. I'm still using a lot of figures and forms and recognizable images, but they have at this point been abstracted uh, to very uh, clear, strong shapes, uh, brilliant color, as strong as I can get it, and uh, real dynamic uh, movement in uh, the, the composition itself. Uh, I still take a lot of chances with my color and the design. I'm, I'm always experimenting, and I don't think that that's ever going to leave my work. Guy Stevens is uh, an expressionist painter uh, who um, paints from the heart.